are watching Work of Art on WHIG TV, hosted by Beth Boykin of Framers Alley. Brought to you by Joiner's Funeral Home, serving our community for four generations. Located on Raleigh Road, Wilson. Allen Winstead, Farm Bureau Insurance, Wilson. Call 230-1704. Will Ferris Attorney, Ferris & Ferris Law Firm. Located on Nash Street, Wilson. Womble Real Estate, proudly serving our community since 1958. Located at 602B Nash Street, Northeast Wilson. Call 291-1123. Framers Alley, custom framing, proud supporter of artists, Main Street, Elm City. Hey everyone, I'm Watson Brown. Um, I was born and raised in Edgecombe County. I worked in Raleigh for many years and in the town of Tarboro. Uh, I was a city planner and in retirement, I'm now a photographer. I came back to Edgecombe County probably for the most part because of this house. Uh, my aunt left me the house in 1992, and it was the family home place built in 1854, so I'm the fifth generation to live here. So it's kind of a family obligation and responsibility to keep up this place. Uh, it was um, kind of an accident in discovering photography. I had no formal training in it, but I decided to go around and start documenting historic houses, barns, building, people, landscapes, all of the things that reflected the latter part of the 20th century up to the present day. I wanted to photograph and document how we live today. I'm very cautious about going into the properties. Most of the time I try to find an owner or, or nearby neighbors to kind of let me know how safe it might be to go in, whether it would be permissible to go in. Uh, I don't want to get shot somewhere. And so far, everybody I've talked to, when I do go to people and ask for permission to go inside and explain what I'm doing, I'm trying to document uh, the old houses, buildings, environment, landscapes of Eastern North Carolina before they all disappear. And I'm finding they're disappearing so fast, it blows my mind. You know, barns and houses that I went to two or three years ago, totally gone now. I'll ride by some places and I'll kind of look and say, hey, wait, there was a house there. No trace of it. There's a crop planted on top of that site. And the fact that it's in my memory, I know that's where the house was. So I'm glad that I'm documenting, documenting these places uh, for future generations just to know. Almost everything I find is a treasure because I've never seen it before. I get really excited when I do this, and then I get really excited when I get home and I can do my editing and processing with my fancy textures and overlays, making them look like paintings. Mm -hmm. It's almost like houses like people are photogenic, and some houses are extremely photogenic and almost are like models. And I go back and back at different times of day and different seasons, and they have a whole different personality. Hi, I'm Beth Boykin and welcome to Work of Art. Today we are honored to have photographer Watson Brown. Watson, welcome. Thank you for being with us today. Oh, thank you, Beth. Well, you are welcome. And um, I just want to say I've known Watson a couple of years, well, more than a couple of years. And I've been honored to frame some of your photography and just been admiring it for a long time. Didn't realize until we did this segment that you have quite a Facebook and social media presence. So um, you are you are well known wide and far. Well, it took a while to to get all that presence, <laughs> so to speak. Well, um, we we are honored to have you here, and uh, we loved and uh, the uh, intro. I think you did a wonderful job with the intro. Um, just if there's anything you'd like to share, perhaps about the um, journey to get to Edgecombe, just a little more, any information you have, um, how you came back home and did the wonderful retirement job that you're doing now. Yeah. Um, I guess I've always had a love of Edgecombe County. I'm, I'm a farm boy, you know, and grew up on the farm in Edgecombe County and just have always liked Eastern North mm -hmm. Carolina. Uh, I worked in Tarboro for quite a few years, I think it was about 11 years, mm -hmm. as the first planning director mm -hmm. of the town. 
And then I got a really good opportunity in Raleigh for about 20 years. Uh, when I finished 30 years with the state, I couldn't wait to retire and get back Back home. home. I understand. Yeah. Well, you know, coming back home to your roots, fifth generation, mm -hmm. the responsibility of taking care of this uh, this property is, uh, and we had a wonderful time just in the home, just felt so homely and welcome. So thank you for in, inviting us. And oh, you sure. have your yes. your kitties there. You've oh, got yeah. um, <laughs> Cora, Robert, and Thomas. Thomas, yes. So they welcomed us as well. And Thomas has been on TV before. Thomas is a, a TV <laughs> star. Yeah, He's know. been on as much as I have. <laughs> well, uh, tell us how important it was for you to um, come to Eastern North Carolina and capture the memories. How, I mean, that, that's bound to have been a driving force for you to get to, to what you're doing. Well, initially, I, I don't think when I, I moved home, it wasn't a, anything I really thought about. My first thought in moving home was I'd inherited this house, but the house needed a huge amount of work. Uh, so I proceeded to get the house in all the right condition and uh, get the yard in shape. It was in really terrible condition. Well, you've done a beautiful job, beautiful job. And just some of the awards as I was walking through the house looking mm -hmm. at all the pictures, I noticed you, you you don't say a lot about it. You're not a braggy person. So we're going to pull this out of you. Um, I noticed uh, you had the uh, award, uh, Order of the Longleaf Pine. That was quite an honor. Yes. And was right. that recent? Um, uh, yeah, that was back in, I think it was 2000 and 2015, uh, when I was having the uh, first art show that had ever been sponsored in the state capitol in the rotunda. In the rotunda. By the state capitol foundation. Uh, and that, I understand, was quite a success. Oh, I was kind of bowled over. It was a <laughs> nice success. Oh, I can imagine. And uh, also, um, Gallery C handles your your um, your artwork. Right. So if anyone wants to purchase, they can go through Gallery C and Connections, yes, and yes. and we have the link um, for you as well. Exactly. On the, um, but um, tell us about you. You've been in our state magazine, which I have a copy right here, and that is actually uh, issue of October. September. Uh, September. Mm -hmm. And um, then you were in the Carolina Alumni Review just recently. Um, so there's been a lot of publication, and uh, how fulfilling is that to, to be recognized in such a way? I mean, you've done, yeah. you well deserve. Well, it's, it's kind of weird, because I'm kind of a, um, an introverted sort of person, and I'm not crazy about a lot of publicity, <laughs> but there's been a certain amount of publicity that has come with my photography. Exactly. But I'm very honored, obviously, very proud that different organizations and groups, mm -hmm. whether it uh, was Garden and Gun Magazine right, or Southern right. Living featured me, uh, and then Our State Magazine and the Carolina uh, Alumni Long Review. Time. I mean, that just is amazing. I, n I never thought well, they would be interested in, in doing that. In just a few minutes when we are showing some of your photography, I think we'll understand why you might have gained this recognition. And I was noticing a quote, it says, from Watson, I'm a relic of the past, trapped in today and struggling into the future. You kind of explained that to me off air, and I yeah. think your photography does a wonderful job because it looks like you're taking old things, bringing them into a modern situation yeah. uh, with your um, texture and I understand overlay yeah. and um, colors and uh, kind of a little um, psychedelic look to some even. Yeah. So it really uh, fits something into a modern location. Yeah, some of my pictures get a lot of attention because they're kind of crazy and wild. Oh, well, they're, that's okay. Yeah. But uh, when we see them, um, tell you, uh, Lee, could you um, possibly bring up maybe just a couple here and we'll talk about. Here's uh, so Watson as they come up, just they're on uh, the screen. If you could just give us a little okay. brief Oh, uh, that's a Nash County scene. Uh, just, I ride the roads. I, I have a county book of maps, and I just decide to go out and just see what I can find. And that's just a farm scene that I found in uh, Nash County of an old tobacco barn mm -hmm. and a great old truck. Okay. And you know, and I, I just have to stop. There you go. <laughs> Let's look at the next. Now that has a little tweaking to it, doesn't it, Watson? Yeah, that one's one of my more psychedelic ones. I did a little bit of work with the shape of the building, 
and I, I call it uh, something I can't remember the exact title now, but it's something like uh, Cheshire Cats and Sweet Alice. There you go. Uh, and his titles are as inviting <laughs> as the pictures, I'll tell you. Okay, and then I'll go next. There you go. Yeah, and just the uh, North Carolina scene of cotton and long dirt paths and lanes and no, I think it's a 52 Chevy that How about some that? friends in Edgecombe County, that was the first car they How bought. How about that? Okay. Okay, now here's, uh, this has got to be Edgecombe, I'm guessing. Yard, yeah. No, that's actually just inside Pitt County. Okay. Uh, it's, it's interesting that I think a lot of us in rural Eastern North Carolina grew up chicken yards. But try to find one today. The, the best way to find one today is going to a city. There you go. If you go <laughs> into Raleigh or some of the larger cities, okay. they all have chicken yards. All right. uh, or they have chicken they Okay, And that's pans. great. Now that's really neat. Did you do yeah. anything in particular? The sky looks like it might have a little color added. Yeah, uh -huh. a lot of times I'll take a sky, and in that case it was a very gray winter sky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I put some color in it, and I kind of focused on the little dog who was posing oh, for me posing. beautifully. Oh, yes. Just a good oh. old country farmhouse with all the great old color chairs. There you go. Alrighty, and that's beautiful. Yeah, that, that's the old Dr. Mercer house uh, in um, Western Edgecombe Western. County. Okay. Uh, that's just a beautiful old house that's built around good. 1869. Okay. Alrighty. In the snow. In the snow. Okay, that's beautiful as well. Uh, uh, Nash County House. Nash County House. Yeah, okay. that's up at Matthews Crossroads, okay. uh, oh. great old uh, okay. 1860 antebellum house oh. that I just love the way it fit with that tree How and the leaves. leaves. It was a okay. little beautiful. bit on the creepy side. There but you I, go. Well, we're going to see some of them. Here's that. We oh, framed yeah. this one just recently, so this is uh, <laughs> this is quite nice. This is great. Yeah, that one is uh, some good friends of mine have uh, all kinds of animals and critters at their little farm in Pitt County. And the, this is their, this, uh, their roosters and their dog, Eddie. How about Eddie. the Eddie? How about that? And I named it Eddie and the Cruisers. Eddie and the Cruisers. Yeah. How about that? Okie doke. That is quite, so we did frame that one for a friend of yours yes, just yes. recently. And that is absolutely gorgeous. Let's see about that sky, Watson. Yeah, that's a great Queen Anne Victorian house in uh, Mount Olive in Wayne County. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why I do things the way I do them sometimes, but all of a sudden I might decide to do something really kind of radical. And a lot of it depends on the music I'm listening to. I think I was listening to Pink Floyd. Okay, on that one. all right. So it got a little bit in the psychedelic <laughs> okay, look. It does have that little little uh, psychedelic look in the sky there. Although, uh, it must have been I was listening to Queen because I call that one Fat Bottom Girls. That's right, Fat Bottom <laughs> Girls. Okay, well that is that is fantastic. So you do see some of the the, the um, editing and uh, that you do and some of the uh, wonderful um, techniques that you um, that you do. So that is quite uh, quite unique. Now was that a house that uh, you visited back on? Uh, it's just what I saw in, in riding around in Mount Olive. Okay. All of these towns, I just ride around and see what I find, and something always catches my eye, and I'll just right. pull over and stop. That's great. So you photograph that one in the, uh, again. You'll photograph it perhaps in a different season and have a different oh, yeah. mode. Totally okay. different look, different seasons. Okay. Well, when we come back on the other side of the break, we're going to uh, see some more of Watson's work. So right now, we're going to take a quick break and want to thank our sponsors. <laughs> You are watching Work of Art on WHIG TV, hosted by Beth Boykin of Framers Alley. Brought to you by Joiner's Funeral Home, serving our community for four generations. Located on Raleigh Road, Wilson. Allen Winstead, Farm Bureau Insurance, Wilson. Call 230-1704. Will Ferris Attorney, Ferris & Ferris Law Firm. Located on Nash Street, Wilson. Womble Real Estate, proudly serving our community since 1958. Located at 602B Nash Street, Northeast Wilson. Call 291-1123. Framers Alley, custom framing, proud supporter of artists, Main Street, Elm City. Welcome back. We're with Watson Brown, and uh, we're just talking about some of his wonderful photography, and uh, he was showing us some uh, some of his creations. And Watson, you've got a piece oh, yeah. here. If you'll pull it up, and we'll take a look at it. 
and just tell us a little bit about this, um, Contentna Creek Barbecue. So what was special about this that just made you stop beside the road and take that photograph? And for some reason I'd never seen this place and I'd, I'd been over into that part of Pitt County quite a lot, but it's just outside of Farmville. Uh, but I'm just riding around again. I just usually just get in my truck and go. And suddenly I saw it and I had to run down and turn around and come back and Cadetney Creek Barbecue. But I loved it because of how fun it is, all the color and the animated figures on, on the windows and on the signs. Uh, it has been one of the most popular ones I've had. I've, I've got it framed and it hangs at Gallery C in Raleigh and it's been down at the gallery at the beach. And I can, I can honestly understand, it looks like small town <laughs> small in town, USA, yes. in North, Eastern North Carolina. Very much. Okay, well besides some of your art, the, uh, the photography, it is a little difficult for some people to say that is not a painting because oh, of the yeah. way you kind of um, uh, overlay, and I'm not sure if that's the correct term, mm -hmm. but um, create your um, images that kind of give it a soft pastel look to it. Yeah. And uh, sometimes people say, oh, that's a painting. They ask me all the time, is that a painting? It surely is not a photograph. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I enjoy a lot going out and finding these treasures. Mm -hmm. But when I get home, I get even more excited in that I can take my textures and overlays and create a painting out of it. I guess that's my form of photography. I typically mm -hmm. don't just find a photograph and present it as it is. Right. Occasionally maybe, but not often. Right. Uh, so I'll go in and I'll have several layers, overlays I'll put on top, and I'll remove layers and I'll kind of finagle it a little bit here and there to get what I want it to look like. So it's not as simple. Very unique. It's not simple. Not simple. <laughs> not okay. Simple at all. Um. It's something I just kind of played with and discovered by myself. It's kind of self uh, self educating myself, I guess. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Had you any formal training, but you just picked the camera up and uh, the yeah. map and got in the car in the truck and took off. So yes. uh, so you have have uh, self taught and yeah. enjoyed the, everything enjoyed I do. Your work. I learn myself by just looking, observing, and playing around with things and doing what I thought looked great. Right. Well, one thing I've noticed, you're, you're very um, inspired about Edgecombe. When we talk about Edgecombe, your face just lights up a little more. Yeah. So is there um, some plans, do you think, down the road of maybe concentrating these pictures in a book of some kind? Or, I mean, is that a thought? Or that is something? a thought. Uh, it's really kind of amazing how many people would like to see a book, mm -hmm. a coffee table book of some sort. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not uh, pursued it aggressively. I guess I would love to have a, um, a publisher come along and say, we want to do a book. <laughs> there you go. But evidently that doesn't happen very often. Uh, I think most photographers do self-publishing of books. Right, right. Uh, that might be the way I go with it, but definitely something that people ask about a right, lot. Right, exactly. Well, I think we've got a couple of pictures that are photographs that are fixing to come up and here's one right now and uh, if you remember the titles share those with us if you can uh, think because I'm, yeah. I'm intrigued with the titles yeah. but that's a that's a very nice little cottage home I'm not yeah, sure that's, that's a little gothic cottage mm -hmm. in Plymouth and honestly I'm drawing a blank on the title with that one but the colors in that house are just amazing I'm not sure if they're the original colors right but it's it's what I was saying in the little intro, that some of the houses or buildings are photogenic and almost like models, that's a supermodel. That's a supermodel. Yes. There you go. <laughs> okay. And let's look at the next here. Okay. Now that almost looks recognizable. Yeah. That's one of my favorite churches uh -huh. in Eastern North Carolina. It's the little Catholic church in Halifax. Okay. I thought it was. Okay. And that's quite nice. Now it doesn't look like you did a lot of anything to that. Not I mean, a lot on that one. In that case, the church speaks for speaks itself. Speaks for itself, exactly. Well, it's beautiful. Yes. Okay. Now, this is a little bit of a mystery to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a very special place down farther east, uh, down around the Pamlico River, the uh, Bellhaven area that has kind of like an elephant graveyard, mm -hmm. but it's an old 
fishing boat graveyard. Oh, how about that? And one day I was just riding around and on the roads and it. I found it. There you go. And that's where the fishermen leave the old boats that are just archaic and just don't have any purpose anymore. And it's full of these wonderful old boats from another time. How about that? And the sky's just beautiful. So obviously you did a little Yeah, in that case it was there. early morning and mm -hmm. I tried to make the sky kind of mm -hmm. looked more early morning right. and it was misty. How about that? Yes, so that's one of my favorites of some of the old rundown boats. I'm amazed it hasn't really sunk yet. Right, and you don't remember the title of that? Ah, uh, but that I don't remember the title of that either. I have something like four or five thousand. I was going to say I went <laughs> online posted. and I was trying to just pick some out, and I got. I mean, I was blown away. Okay, oh, uh, okay. Now that's a neat little yeah, store I, there. Yeah, I love finding these little country stores and groceries, uh, especially some that are open because most of them are closed mm -hmm, today mm -hmm. but this is a little uh country store that's actually in williamston it's not really in the it. country but i think she is the third generation johnson family who has owned this store so you get to know a little bit about what your photography the, the photography yeah. you're doing if there's someone around i love talking to them and finding out the history of that that's places. important yes. okay now that has a very nostalgic uh, look to it, and do you know what building yeah. that was? Or? Uh, that's the old Magnolia Academy in Magnolia in Duplin County. Probably one of my most talked about photographs, that whole series I did of the Magnolia right, Academy. because you did just the entrance that had some very... Uh, yeah. um, dark looking and I, I, I have one that i made very dark looking uh -huh. with stars in the sky right, right. that i call midnight at the magnolia academy okay, that's the one i'm and remembering that's probably yes. my best-selling photo oh, of all time people love that. that one okay now i'm gonna let watson talk here because this was well, you a know who that is this is miranda do you want to shut tell we i followed miranda for months do you want to tell us a little okay. bit about her uh Miranda is the doll. I gave her the name. I have sometimes I have a little bit of a warped sense of humor and creativity. But in walking around this old tenant house in eastern Edgecombe County near the little community of Dogtown, believe it or not, uh, I was walking through tall weeds towards the back and there was this doll that had been left there by the various, I guess the last family that mm -hmm. lived there. Uh, so I photographed her in place and uh, then I just my mind kind of wandered like it sometimes does and I pictured in my mind Christina's World by Andrew Wyeth mm -hmm. and I thought hmm by that time I'd already named her Miranda so I decided to take her out front and put her in a position kind of like Christina in that and different painting. in different places she yeah. showed up that's right and I would place her in different locations, locations and exactly like that. Yes. and it was a treat to see Miranda pop up different places yes, okay right well it, okay move, see the net okay that's beautiful yeah that's the old Moses Roundtree house in Wilson that's one of my very that favorite gothic houses mm -hmm. and I love photographing mm -hmm. that that's beautiful. Uh, that was taken several years ago, and I, I honestly don't know the status of it now, but it had been for sale. Right, that's beautiful. And I beautiful. hope it's been purchased down and, and taken care of. Taken care and a of, lot of yeah. these houses that you have uh, photographed over the years, I understand, have not been taken care of. So yeah, you know, they've few, fallen into disrepair. A few have been bought, and some have been restored. restored. Okay. But a lot of them have just gone farther and right. farther into neglect, neglect, and some have collapsed. Right, okay. Okay, now this has a lot of um, <laughs> um, color in it in yes. the sky. So what was your thought during that episode? I'm trying to think what music I was listening to for that. <laughs> Probably Jefferson Airplane or something of that nature. Oh, okay, there um, you go. Trust me, I don't take drugs or anything like that. But I we, but we can listen to music, and we <laughs> saw your workspace in your kitchen, and yes. it is phenomenal. But that's an old house in uh, Edgecombe and County. And that's beautiful too. That's called uh, Mount Moriah. And this one, okay, when you're walking in, and there's clothes hanging in the closet, there's torn curtains in the windows. Do you ever get a little afraid, or you just think, okay, I'm here? I've never really gotten that afraid and I've never run into snakes which is really odd. Oh that is very good. <laughs> uh, but uh, 
that one, if you notice, there's a nice overcoat in the window that I didn't even know was there because I was taking it from such a long distance. That is beautiful. Okay. Okay. Peanuts or hay? Peanuts? Peanuts. Peanuts. Tax. Okay. There's something that old timers like me yes, we remember, remember when they dried peanuts uh, in the field, the that, old days. That is correct. Ending in the 70s, roughly, there I guess. There you go. Okay. All right, nostalgic here. Old Plymouth Belvedere and somebody's clothes. Clothes on the line. There the you line go. Up in Franklin, Franklin County. County. All righty. Okay, and then the next. Okay, God loves you. All right, you're finding a lot of old cars. Oh yeah, I love that. And uh, you know, it was in someone's yard, and I just thought the message and all was just fantastic. Uh, just a beautiful sentiment on that old truck that okay. was just sitting in the weeds. There you go. Well, Watson, it is, uh, okay, that's one more. That's a country road. Yeah, that's Nash County. Nash Hill County. Hilliardston Road in okay. Nash County. Okay, how about that? All right, well, I think that might, is that about the last photograph we've got there? I think there's one more. One more, okay, and we'll do the one. Okay, and that's Barnes? Yeah, just Red Tobacco Barnes in Nash County. Okay. Well, Watson, it has been a pleasure having you tonight. Uh, we really have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors and Sandra for allowing us to come, Ant and Lee for the, bringing up the pictures on a timely manner and doing the job he does. And I really do appreciate you coming, Watson. We are happy to have you. I really enjoyed it. Thank, thank you. you. You're watching Work of Art on WHIG-TV, hosted by Beth Boykin of Framers Alley. Brought to you by Joiner's Funeral Home, serving our community for four generations. Located on Raleigh Road, Wilson. Allen Winstead, Farm Bureau Insurance, Wilson. Call 230-1704. Will Ferris Attorney, Ferris & Ferris Law Firm. Located on Nash Street, Wilson. Womble Real Estate, proudly serving our community since 1958. Located at 602B Nash Street, Northeast Wilson. Call 291-1123. Framers Alley, custom framing, proud supporter of artists, Main Street, Elm City.